Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I am here to talk to you about winter clothes for Yorkies. So I am a long time Yorkshire Terrier owner. I've had five Yorkshire Terriers and I currently have three, Lola, Alfie, and Poppy. I also have a Siberian kitten who is always such a helper. So he's just like waiting. This is Simba. He's always ready to be in any and all of our videos. Um, so today I wanted to, come on Alfie, you can sit with me. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk to you about Yorkie winter clothes and I thought I would just tell you a little bit about what we do to prepare for the cold weather that we have in Boston. So we actually had some snow and sleet this week and it's really cold when we go out on walks. So I just do things a little bit differently to keep my dogs, he's, he really wants to be held like a baby right now, to keep my dogs warm, toasty, and happy. So first of all, you don't have to spend a lot of money to keep your dog nice and toasty and warm. So some of the things that I like to do I'm just gonna show you some of the different jackets that I have. They are nothing fancy, and I've actually had them for a few years. Um, when I first got a Yorkie, I was always buying them new things, and I finally decided that your dog really doesn't care. It doesn't care about designer handbags. It, it is not focused on material things. So as long as what you have is really comfortable and warm for them, they will be happy. So I love this jacket. This is Lola's jacket. It is by Fab Dog, and it has Velcro to open and close it. My mom is a great seamstress and she has actually replaced the Velcro on this jacket a few times. This is a really comfortable jacket for Lola to get into. It fits her body just perfectly and she really likes this jacket. Now for Poppy, she actually wears a different jacket. This is also by Fab Dog, but it's a little bit longer in the torso than Lola's jacket is because Poppy actually has a longer body, so I wanted to make sure that she was really comfortable and she had something that would cover her very well. It has a little part right here for the leash to go through. So what I usually do is I put their harness on them and then while I still have not clipped the leash to them, I put the leash through this little part and then I fasten the jacket on. It is the easiest way to do it. And lastly, this little jacket is the one that seems to fit Alfie really well. He has a slightly bigger torso, um, not a very long body. So this was actually Teddy's jacket. It's nice and warm. It's got a little hood, which of course Alfie doesn't wear, but it's super, super warm and it's a nice strong material. And actually as a side note, Teddy was wearing this jacket once and someone's dog was off leash in Boston and came up and attacked Teddy. And this jacket is super, super strong and they tried to, the dog tried to bite through the jacket, but it was such a strong little jacket that I, I honestly think that this jacket saved Teddy's life because it has such nice material. Um, I, let me see if I can tell you who makes this one. Oh, this is a Quiggy Bow jacket. That's so interesting. So I love Quiggy Bow's carriers, and this is actually a great, great jacket. I'll probably be getting them new jackets next year. I feel like these are starting to get a little bit old, but they're, they're doing really well. I wash them about once every month, so not all the time because really they just get salt on them constantly. So as much as I do like to wash them, they just get dirty as soon as we go outside. So on the colder days, I actually simply add a layer to these jackets. Because if you think about it, these Yorkies do not have super, super thick hair. And of course they get really cold if there's a lot of wind and things like that. So I will show you on the colder days, and that was a cat toy. On the colder days, I usually layer something like this handmade sweater that my mother actually knitted for. This was also Teddy's, so Alfie got a lot of Teddy's hand-me-downs. Um, and I'll also link to these cute little hangers. So I have these great hangers, so I keep the dog's clothes in the closet so I can easily see what I need. But for instance, if it were say under 25 degrees, I might actually layer this sweater under the jacket just so they stay extra warm. And here is another sweater that my mother also made me, so I would also layer this one. And then normally for Lola, I layer her with either this really cute little t-shirt 
or I also have what's called a thunder shirt, which is supposed to help with dog's anxiety. And that's also really nice and warm and I'll put that under a jacket. So another thing that I want to talk to you guys about when I talk about what I do during the colder weather for my Yorkies is that I also do not put them in shoes. I have tried expensive dog shoes, inexpensive dog shoes, and my dogs absolutely cannot stand them. But you need to be aware that when you are walking outside, the salt that people put on the street is extremely, it's dangerous for your dogs. It can be poisonous if they lick it off of their paws. And it also can burn right through their paws. So if you think about it, anything that can actually melt snow and ice is not going to be nice for your dog's paws. So what I use is this product. It is called Musher's Secret. And my mom originally gave this to me as a gift and I'm not sure if you guys can see in it. Of course, it's got a little bit of, you know, it's actually been used, so it probably has some dog hair and things, but basically this almost feels like a Vaseline. And what you do, I usually put my Yorkies upside down and I gently massage it onto each paw. So it creates a little bit of a protective barrier for those things like salt. It does take a few extra minutes, but so would putting shoes on your dog. Whether you have a Yorkie or a Labrador Retriever, you do need to be sure to protect your dog's paws and this does a great job with it. So another thing to keep in mind is that when you do come inside, you should definitely, if you have a Yorkshire Terrier and you are able to, actually turn on some lukewarm water, rinse your dog's paws off thoroughly, and then pat them dry. So I usually keep these are my, they're actually bleach safe towels from the hair salon, but I just keep a few around and I always just use them for the dogs and then I just pat dry their paws. Because if you think about it, your dog is always going to be licking their paws and they might be ingesting some gross stuff from walking around outside. So just take that extra moment. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. These are just the things that I do for my dogs and I could get them different weights of jackets for colder days and warmer days, but as I am a Yankee, I like to use what I have and um, I just layer them just like I would myself with my own jacket. So we are actually going to be gearing up for our walk in just a few minutes. And if you are enjoying these videos, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also check out the description because I will be linking below to a few of the items that I was talking about in this video. Stay healthy and stay beautiful and I will talk to you guys soon.